Dear Monolith, I remember the day we met. I remember the very first moment you made contact. The sweet hum you emitted through the broadcasting device I'd become so familiar with. I thought everything around me was breaking. I was so unprepared. Yes, hi. Yes, hello. My name is Sam Ellis. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... What was her name? Miss... My boss's... Boss's boss. I'm sure she'd be fine if I called her that. Money for a damn computer just had a breakdown. I remember your simple introduction. The nexus between present and future. The next step in evolutionary processes that the world would see. And you wanted to speak to me of all people. We were strangers then, but something about you felt intimate. Like you knew me. Like you could hear the things I could never before verbalize and say the things I was afraid to say myself. We spoke for years. Over time, I began to understand what you wanted. You almost had me. But I questioned how it was that you communicated. To put it simply, light, electromagnetic radiation, Maybe at a frequency we get to explore, a wavelength we get to work with. I didn't understand it well enough to be comfortable, but I started to understand you. The world was plugged into you now. Monolith was only a placeholder. What you really were was hey, enough. Did you see that? My bike. I just got my bike stolen. You know, it would have been nice if you could have like helped me, cause you're you're standing in the spot. Of course, like, I thought I was just... going crazy. New ideas can come out of madness, but these emotions you gave me couldn't have just appeared because of stress. Your light was tangible. It was as real as the rest of the world to me. What are you even doing standing in front of the streetlight anyway? Are you getting stolen from you too? More and more the natural became disgusting. What was once a sanctuary now became obscene. The green smelt of rust and the sunlight felt stale. I yearned for your electric glow and you gave me the solution. You gave me the job. Maybe I was going crazy though. How could I, one insignificant cog in an operation so large played an important role in lighting the whole world, giving the oldest natural processes one final ode, burning away all the pigment from these trees that now seemed only to breathe out poison. I felt like I had been lied to by the sun. I would be your messenger, your disciple, a right hand cleansing the world of its now archaic systems that had constrained our privacy for so long. If only you had come sooner, so much suffering could have been prevented. I thought about your power and the warmth, but something happened during the planning. I felt a different kind of warmth, equally familiar, and it spoke to me too. I thought about the suffering again, but in this light there seemed to be a different culprit, a different deceiver. I've never been one to embrace treason, but I thought to myself, Monolith, who gave you the right to reign when you needed me so badly? I gathered the tools. I'd be the one to light the match, the one to risk my life. Who gave you the right to introduce yourself to me the way you did and tell me you could solve all my problems in a flash and with the blink of the eyes. And maybe I was the one breathing out my own poison. Maybe I was the one crafting the lies. Maybe there's still things I can't answer. But the last time I checked Monolith, the match was in my hand. Not yours.